If you're a Sarah J Mass fan, this video might provoke some strong feelings. So it came to my attention a couple of weeks ago, Nesta and Nezrin, two characters from Sarah J Mass novels, <laughs> are not the same person. The way I read Sarah J Mass books is I just read the chapters of people that I care about. And it's been like three years since I've read. Like I read them the year they come out and so I haven't read some of the books in like a while. The other day I found this thread with all these character names being like, which one do you, would you choose? Like, which one? Like, what I, millennials do that, right? And I was reading through them, like, <laughs> I know three of these characters. I thought it would be fun today if I went through some characters from Sarah J Mass books and told you who they were based on my very limited knowledge. So I had Bonnie, shout out to Bonnie, that's Bonnie. She's gonna witness my embarrassment. She sent me a list of characters and I told her send me obvious ones and send me like obscure ones. So here's a whole list and I'm gonna tell you right now who all of them are. Let's begin. Number one, Adian. Okay, first challenge is which series is it from and then who is it? So Adian, I know him. He's from Throne of Glass. He's Aelin's cousin and he's drawn with a man bun and a lot of fan art. I know one, I got one. The score is one. Number two is Manon who can Chuck. I don't like her and I skip her chapters, but I still remember her name because she can Chuck. Should I like try and tell people like one thing that she did? Okay, um In Air of Fire, she's like training her dragon. Let me tell you anything she did in Empire of Storms she fucked Dorian, that's all I remember. <laughs> but I'm still mad about it. The next character is Lucian. He can also choke. <laughs> he is from the Autumn Core? He's the other series. What's it called? Akatar. He is a dude. Apparently the guys in Autumn Court have real big wingspans, but they don't have wings. So that metaphor made no sense. Let me name you one thing he did in the series. I wrote a fanfiction about him and all I can think of right now is my fanfiction. Me, I hate him. Also me, wrote a fanfiction about him. He was Tamwon's BFF. I can't tell you a single thing they did together. He was with, what's, Feyre, I know her name, <laughs> as they ran away. Anyway, okay, we're done. The next character, now we're getting to one I don't know. Archer Finn. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna guess Throne of Glass. I'm glad you're here because you can tell me if it's good. She said that's correct. <sighs> Is this one of the guys she competed against in the first book? Archer Finn, who is that? It sounds like a guy who would shoot a bow and arrow. It's Archer. <laughs> He's a fish, he has a fin. <laughs> I have no idea who is it. The guy that Aelin killed at the Endicron Minute, that was several years ago. Also very irrelevant. I think I remember though. Wait, was it like in the tunnels? Okay, well, he wasn't a fish or an archer. The next character, <laughs> we've talked about this so much but I still don't know, Erewhon. <laughs> I know it's from Throne of Glass, right? Is it a king? Is it like the dead king? No. Is It's like the demon, the demon lord. Someone's gonna correct me. Another challenge of this video is to guess how it's pronounced. Briaxis? Briaxis? I know that's her, Manon's stinky dragon. That's her dragon's name, right? It's not her- what's her dragon? That's literally her dragon's name. There's two characters with this name. Is it from Throne of Glass? <laughs> it's not from Throne of Glass! I literally don't know. It's not a, a person. I don't know. I could- I thought it was the dragon. <laughs> I would not have guessed it. It was the creature from the library. Oh wait, from the library? I thought you meant like the soul stealer person, the kid. I'm very stressed. <laughs> okay, the next character is Holland, and it just reminded me of Holland from A Darker Shade of Magic, but it's not even the same series. I don't know. I couldn't even give you a book that this character's from. Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> Holland sounds like it's a girl from Throne of Glass. No, there aren't no any girls in Throne of Glass. <laughs> it's a boy from Akatar, and he's the son of the Supreme Commander of- I'm just mixing all my series. <laughs> he is from the Autumn Court. Wait, is it Lucian's brother? Oh man, I thought I could have had a really good guess on that one. <laughs> Do I have the right series? Is it Akatar? It's not even from Akatar. I give up. He's probably someone that someone killed. He- nope, he's alive. Okay, I have no idea. Dorian has a brother? When? <laughs> 
always like 10 saying, okay, if he's not of sexual age, then he doesn't matter in Sarah J. Mass books. The next character is named Rolf. I feel like this is Throne of Glass. I have a feeling that's the dude she, I'm just gonna keep guessing it's someone that Selena fought in the first book and killed in the Hunger Games type thing that was happening. He's a big guy with an ax. He looks straight out of the cuddly duckling from Tangled. He does not have a dream because he's dead. He's not dead? Okay, so all of that was wrong. <laughs> the pirate lord, that's right. He was just in Empire of Storms. <laughs> Helian, oh my god, that's daddy, literally. That's Lucian's, right, Lucian's father. He's a bisexual king. But wasn't he like having sex with someone's sister? He was having sex with someone weird. We were like, that's Lucian's whole father. <laughs> okay, that's all I remember. What court is he from? Oh my god. The water one. Not the water court, but like whichever, the summer court. I only have so many options. Winter. Spring. <laughs> Night. Day. Dawn. Day. Day court. Who even li Who even goes to day court? The next character we have here is Isaac Hale, who I remember because I don't know why, but he's the farm boy that Feyre lost her virginity to. <laughs> the next character is Alid. I know it's from Akatar. I know it's her sister. Wait, no? No, her sister is... No! <laughs> yes, it is, because it's... It's Lucian and Elaine. Who is Elaine? Okay, she can't do that to me. She can't give me two e names. Okay, Elaine is the sister. Who's Elaine? Okay, she's. I've skipped all her chapters. <laughs> she's the girl with Lorcan, right? Okay, I've heard about that on Tumblr. I did not read it. Okay, the next one's Elaine. Okay, so Elaine is the sister. That's with Lucian. We bend it, and she like she killed. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember this. She's the one who killed their father? Was it their father? Or was it the person who was trying to kill their father? Akawar was a whole year ago. I don't remember. Life is hard. Okay, the next character is named Brannon. This one's gonna be a total guess because I have no clue. Okay, so I'm guessing throw in a glass. Yes? Okay. I feel like he's just has an eyebrow piercing, works in a bar. I'm describing Adam Kent. <laughs> I don't know. Is he dead? Is he alive? He's dead? Okay. He sounds like a guy who loves gluten. The word brand is in there. Is brand gluten? I don't know. Who is it? Fay King? I'm sort of glad. Sounds fake, but okay. I literally thought he was just some peasant. Okay, that's fine. You know who's literally the King Dorian of my heart and other places as well. The next person is Nesta! Here's the problem is I know now that Nesta and Nezrin are two different characters. I don't know who is who. Nesta? That's the sister. I don't know what she did. Is she with Cassian? Is that a thing? Okay, I know that from Tumblr. Okay, the next character is Evangeline. That's the name of the firefly from Princess and the Frog. It's too human of a name to be in a Sarah J. Mass book. Maybe she is human. It's obviously a woman. I'm guessing it's from Akatar. No, there's only like four women in Akatar and I would know them, so it's gotta be from Throne of Glass. It's the woman that sells Inej into sex slavery. When I don't know, I'm just gonna guess what the character sounds like even if it's not from that series. It's related to what I just said. It just sounds, I'm so sorry if your name's Evangeline, but it just sounds like a kind of hoish name. Oh, is it like the person that dealt with Lysandra? Okay, so I was kind of right. It's the whole prostitution business. Okay, the next person is Ianth. Ianthi? Iantha? I know it's from Akatar. I know she's in the series. Is it a she? I don't even, I, I could not tell you one thing she did. Was she ever in Spring Court? I feel like there was a scene with her and Tamlin. She just sounds like she, you know, the alien from Lilo and Stitch that has like the green skin and like the, I'm not, I don't know, I'm gonna put a picture. I, I feel like she looks like that. The next character is Lord Parrington. I don't know. This is another one that I couldn't even begin to guess, so I'm just gonna make up my own story. This is a man from Throne of Glass. Okay, correction, she said it's Duke Parrington, not Lord Parrington. He lives in Terrason. I don't know where that is, I just remember that's a name. He's the one who betrayed Aelin Judas style and killed her parents. He's working with Erewhon? I've never heard of him in my life. And he's important? I've never heard of him. 
That sounds fake. Okay, the next one's Asriel, and we've been new. Asriel's my baby. He's from Akatar. He has his little power. He makes black steam. That's all I remember about it. He has wings. He sounds pretty emo. Me too. The next person is Cressida, and I barely remember her. It's from Throne of Glass, right? No? She sounds like a character who would be from District 2 in The Hunger Games. There was a Cressida in The Hunger Games? I'm just saying. I think she's from Akatar. No, she's not. I would know about her. She works in the library. She has a crush on the guy that lives downstairs that sounds like he's a dragon, but he's not. Oh, wait. Is it someone who makes dresses? Is it the tree woman? Who's the tree woman from Spring Court? It's not her. You made a face. I'm just naming all the women I know in that series that aren't more. She's from the Summer Court. Okay, no one cares about her. Next. <laughs> this next one messes me up to this day. I do not know her. Coltane. She's from Throne of Glass and she's apparently like in the book, which is fake news because I don't know who it is. She's apparently not a good person. She's like sassy and I don't know her. She's the one that like got drunk or something or like she was in Empire of Storms and she was like wearing a dress. That's all I remember. I don't know what she's here for. I don't know where did she come from, where did she go. Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, I just don't care about her, so I'm moving on. The next one's Sorsha, who I know because I love my King Dorian and he was done so dirty. Were they definitely having sex or was it just like a thing? I don't know. They were together and she got deheaded. She's she's gone. The next character is Kier. I don't care <laughs> about this character. <laughs> I don't care about that character. <laughs> I have no freaking clue. He is from Autumn Court. He loves trees in nature. He plays the lute. Okay, that's all wrong. So he's from Throne of Glass. He works at a bar. Wait, he's from Akatar? He's from the Night Court. Yes? I was joking. That's right? Oh my, who is that? Is it the guy that like trained them? Is it a servant? Is it someone irrelevant? A waiter at the restaurant they went to? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Moore's father? That's a whole fake news because Moore never talked about him and he wasn't even in the book if I don't remember him. Okay, I remember Claire Bedor. That's the girl. Don't sneeze. I remember Claire Bedor. That's the girl who was from Akatar. She gave that fake name to Amarantha and like the girl was killed and it was Feyre's fault. Don't remember why. The next character is Kane. I swear to God, this is right. It's from Throne of Glass, the guy she fought during The Hunger Games in book one. I knew it was gonna be one of them, but I didn't know. Okay, next is Dorian. We've been new. That's my son. Amran. That's the scary one that no one knows where she's from, and she's like a demon person. The next one's Arabin. He's Selena's old assassin person. He's the guy that was really creepy and like sent her on missions, and then Lysandra killed him in like book three or whatever. Four, I don't remember, but I, yeah, I know him. Um, fuck you for putting Sam Cortland on this list. I don't reserve that disrespect. He's still alive. We didn't see a body. We saw a body, but it could have been anyone else. <laughs> Cassian is another character they draw with a man bun. So I'm a fan. He trained Feyre how to fly or no, fight or fly, which one? Fight? That was Warner. Really? That sounds fake. Okay. And he and Nesta are like a thing in fan fiction, so I don't know if that's real. Lysandra! All I remember about her, she's a shapeshifter. She killed Arobin, and that's about it. What does she do in the series? She's just kind of there with them. Isn't she with someone? She and Adian are together, right? Or like there's like a thing, but she's like scarred because of wherever she was before, and he's like, I'll wait for you, and she's like, <laughs> No. The next character is Maeve. I know it's a fae. <laughs> I know it's a fae. That could be literally any character in any of her books. <laughs> Throne of Glass, right? It's either Rowan's ex-wife or the queen. You laugh, so it's not Rowan's ex-wife. <laughs> no, it's like the queen that... Okay, yeah, it's... I, we've been new. She's from Air of Fire. That's where I remember her from. She's in other books too, but I only remember her being in Air of Fire. Is she relevant in the rest of the books? Because I literally only remember her being in Air of Fire. <laughs> the next person is Tamlin. And then Elena. Elena. She's from Akatar. She is from the Spring Court. She washes dishes and goes to Kalanmai. Absolutely incorrect. Sounds about right. She's from Photo Glass. Is that the ghost that like meets her underground? No, oh, I would not have guessed that. I thought her name was like Gwen or something. Astrid, that's like Manon's lesbian lover. 
I'm just saying. Okay, then Tarkin. Is that the black guy? The one black character in Akawar? Is he Summer Night Court? No, High Lord of Summer Court? <sighs> I love myself, I knew one. Okay, Abraxos, that's the that's the dragon thing. That's literally the same name. Bryaxis and Abraxos are the same person. Okay, yeah, her her dragon's name is Abraxos. I know that one. Nehemia is the only black character in Throne of Glass. <laughs> Who died? Vasa. Vasa, confusing one. <laughs> She's from Akatar. She lives in the human world. She makes dresses. She's literally just Princess and the Popper in Barbie edition. She wears red lipstick. She's probably a demon. I don't know, tell me. She is from Akatar. She's a mortal queen. Okay, so basically Barbie Princess and the Popper. I'm so glad I was right. Irene, I just read this book. Is it the nurse that kills with in Tower of Dawn? Sartok. That's either the hoe from Akatar or the guy who was with that girl in Tower of Dawn. I think it's the guy from Tower of Dawn. I skipped the chapters, but I know he was there and they like find a thing in the library or whatever. The next person is Hassar. Hazer? Hassar? He sounds a lot of fun. He's from Alaska. He likes to bathe in geysers. He's from Throne of Glass. He likes long walks on the beach. I have no freaking idea. It's not a guy? That's fake news. There was a lesbian in Tower of Dawn. So the next person is Resand. It's the High Lord of Spring Court. Me just like spouting wrong information like he's from Throne of Glass. Aelin's mate. <laughs> Blonde. He has a tattoo of a bird on his chest. <laughs> Next is Kale. Kaol, who is from A Court of Thorns and Roses, and he lives in the Summer Court. He wears flower crowns. That's a whole joke. He's from Tower Dawn. The last character is the only character that matters, and it is our beautiful bae, Fleetfoot, who is Aelin's dog, and who needs justice, and I need to see her again. I left my window open so everyone can see into my room, and there's girls at the elevator window, and I think they're looking at me, so hi, girl. Just in bed, so only a video. <laughs> Normal porn things. So that was Zet and Telesant. <laughs> There's honestly a list that's massive of like characters who are mentioned once, right? Just like irrelevant characters. Without even getting new characters, I could probably do this video again in six months and not remember anyone. It was a fun experience. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, I'm not gonna reread them. I'm not gonna want to learn about any of these people. I really don't care. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to correct me down below because I know it's the first thing you're gonna do anyway. Bye everyone.